Toby, the Pirates got to compete at home for the first time this mm -hmm. year, uh, this past weekend, the Buck Scoring Invitational. Mm -hmm. Talk about how we did. Yeah, it was a great meet. Uh, you know, two weeks ago, coaches called me and, and asked if we were going to have the meet, and uh, our facilities people did a great job of moving the snow, and uh, then we had a beautiful day. It got up to 50-some degrees, and, and the weather was perfect. The competition was awesome. The size of the meet was great. Uh, we ended up getting uh, five guys um, qualified for the conference meet that weren't previously qualified, and four women. Uh, so that brought our numbers up to the in the 20s uh, for men and women qualified for conference. Uh, got uh, a national leading mark by Kayla Rambo in the discus, which was great, and then just a lot of other... Uh, again, good season bests and, and PRs. At this point, has uh, the entire team been able to be out there and compete yet, or do you still have folks who are still battling injuries or working their yeah, way into we're, shape? Yeah, we're probably at 50-50 right now. So uh, we've had two outdoor meets and probably had about 50% of the team compete. Um, part of that is just because of the, the winter training, and then part of that is because of some injuries and sicknesses and things. So. Uh, this weekend, uh, we're going to get some bodies out there that haven't been out there yet and uh, hopefully get some more people qualified. Uh, this coming week, uh, the uh, Sam Adams Classic, mm -hmm. uh, chance to do some multi-events, uh, mm -hmm. have some events spread out over a couple of days. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of hope do we have for this week? Yeah, so we have a multi-event uh, meet on Thursday and Friday, and we've got uh, Travis Herrera will be doing his first decathlon, uh, which was, will be nice for him. and. Uh, all that hard tr training is going to pay off and hopefully get him qualified for conference. Uh, Joe Tingstead and, and Nick McGill will be competing in the decathlon as well, and Nick has a chance to qualify for nationals and get that national mark early. Uh, and then Izzy Clark uh, will be doing the heptathlon, and uh, if everything goes right, hopefully she'll break a school record and uh, get a mark that will get her to nationals. And then, uh, yeah, then we've got events going uh, Thursday evening with the 5K and the hammer and the jab, and then uh, the rest of the meet uh, all day on Friday.